Circle Pine Center is a special place in Michigan, organized in 1938, a democratic co-op camp which was an outgrowth of the Ashland Folk School. Formed during the Great Depression, people had to band together to help one another out and pool scarce financial resources. Circle Pines flourished from the beginning, even contracting with Frank Lloyd Wright to create a master design and 22 buildings, which unfortunately were never built. Evolving its own vibrant culture out of the crucible of hard work and participatory problem solving, its own history is kept alive through traditional arts, dance, farming skills, and discussion groups, and deep interpersonal relations and friendships engender a sense of family and community. People of all colors and religions were welcomed, and at a time when fascist horrors were being unleashed in Europe and Asia, Circle Pines became a haven. Today's Circle Pines greatly resembles the original. Its Civil War era farmhouse looks exactly the same, though it now has a state-of-the-art modern kitchen. Its spring-fed lake has been preserved in its original condition, and its dedication to growing fresh and natural foods continues to play an important part in the camp's daily activities. What is Circle Pine Center? Well, in 1931, someone wrote, a cooperative enterprise is a means to an end, to a better way of living where individuality is developed not by competing against but by complementing each other. The attitudes and values which motivated members to be active change seekers in the larger world, in the larger system, have certainly been reflected in the development of the philosophy and history of Circle Pines Center. Circle Pines has had its roots deeply embedded in two extraordinary social movements. One was for educational reform, and the other was a movement for evolutionary change towards a world of peaceful cooperation. And that's what the greatest of all the American blues singers, Big Bill Brunsey, sang. Music was always a strong bond and remains today a vital force. I was a pine cone. I'm Mike Carey. I've been coming here for five years, two years of juniors, two years of youthies, and one year of CIT. I come back to this place because um, I like how it looks, and <laughs> um, mostly for the people. I mean, we we do trails, we do work projects, we do all sorts of things and we just work together real good and you get to know people better than you know anyone else in the world and it's you know it's a bonding experience it makes you want to come back it makes you want to see your friends this is not an authoritarian place uh, kids get choices in terms of what they'll do um, and uh, I think that's one of the things that makes it attractive and makes it gives it its longevity because uh, people yearn for that kind of thing the thing that I got very excited about was the sense at Circle Pines that this place belonged to everybody who was here. Everybody took responsibility, everybody volunteered, everybody worked together. It was a lot of fun. Um, there was a youth group, I got involved with that. And I sort of oozed from being 
a kid into being a grown-up. Uh, we got married a week after the membership meeting in 1950, and all of a sudden I was a grown-up. I wasn't a DA, I didn't think. DA meant damned adult. But, <laughs> but um, it was a very exciting time. It was um, a time when there was a lot of building and planting. I feel a little proprietary about some of the vegetation around here myself. And uh, there was really, from the very beginning, an effort to make kids feel the sense of responsibility of helping one another. When the Rasmussen's were here in the 50s, for instance, they, uh, Lori uh, thought of the play camp for the toddlers, for the preschoolers. And all the furniture was built so that no one child could move anything. They always needed to have two benches. There were no individual chairs. There were only benches that kids could move together and tables. So that was kind of the feel of Circle Pines. And it was also a very joyous place, the dancing that kept on going forever. Um, the getting together as youth groups, we had a buying club, we had square dances, but we also became social activists. We saw a world that needed changing. We saw a world filled with racism and sexism, with uh, fascism, with all kinds of isms that we didn't want any part of. And we all felt a commitment to go home and live our lives that way. And I think that's not insignificant. And I think that's what's made this place last. My name's Devin Grayson, and I came to Circle Pines through the cooperative movement. I'm not one of those people that went to camp here and grew up here, although sometimes I wish I were. Um, I was involved in student co-ops in college. I went to Oberlin College and wanted to look more into being involved in cooperatives after I graduated. Were there really jobs in cooperatives? Did people really live in them after college? You know, my family sure didn't live that kind of lifestyle. So I ended up at Circle Pines through an internship through NASCO. Well, yeah, up at Oberlin, I, I became really involved in the student co-ops, um, sitting on the board of directors, doing a lot of facilitation. Um, I just loved what I found there. You know, I loved the, the spirit of cooperation, of democracy, um, the way that decisions were made by consensus there. <laughs> And also, I mean, it's inspiring to see the generations here, uh, you know, that people came as, as young children and sent their children and sent their, sent their children. I mean, we're, we're dealing with a lot of generations here, and that's also a really exciting thing in terms of social change because you know that wherever any of these people are dropped in this country, things are happening. And I think a lot of it was the germ of Circle Pines. Mm -hmm. The campers actually started a community service option that happened once a week and it's just for the older campers and they wrote a grant to um, make a food bank where f local farmers donate extra food that they have, like food that they might not be able to sell them and there's kids who actually care. This was the first place I felt like I really learned what it meant to be a part of co-op when I started understanding why we did work projects and started realizing that work projects could actually be fun sometimes. Work continues to inspire as a daily ritual. In work projects, people gain new skills and more importantly, a feeling of ownership and participation. Arrival and departure rituals are intact, down to the last discaleva, Circle Piner's way of saying goodbye. The social consciousness, tolerance, and inclusiveness, which are hallmarks of Circle Pines, are still magnets for newcomers and old-timers alike. Ultimately, the principles of communal responsibility, consensus, and democracy in action laid the foundations crucial for the camp's growth and survival.
do take just a little Sometime let your heart bleed a little But baby, that's the glory of love Cry a little, sigh just a little Let the cloud roll by a little But baby, that's the glory of love Long as thou just the two of us Has a world in its charm Long as thou just the two of us We hold each other's arm Baby, now win just a little Lose just a little Sometime had a blues a little But baby, that's the glory of love Thank you.